What's up guys? So in today's video, I'm going to try to help you to solve the glitch solution in your exported video. So what do I mean with a glitch? So let's say you're done with your project, you worked really hard and now you want to export that project. You're going to have a look to it and you suddenly see something like this. Boom. You see that? Glitch really annoying and uh, this can be used uh, on purpose as an effect but if you didn't use this on purpose as an effect and you have a glitch that means something went wrong in the uh, render page so we're gonna fix this and there are a few options that you can try to do everything happens in the deliver page so the first thing that you're gonna try is you want to locate your video not in the file where all your footage is. That's just something that I found on the internet that you can try. That didn't help me, but maybe that is your problem. So you want to export that video in a location your files are basically not. <laughs> then the second thing that you can try is you can play around with the different codecs. Because many times if you export it, for example, on uh, MP4 codec H264, uh, if you still have that glitch, you can try a different codec H265 and the format that I also often use is QuickTime. It's a really good format. And of course your encoder is your video card. I use Nvidia. So the codec is important. If you still have that glitch with H264, try H265. But keep in mind that most of your clients, or in my case, I'm a wedding videographer, most of my clients can't open that codec on their computer. So if you exported this video in 4K and you have that glitch problem, you can try to downscale your resolution because that's less uh, powerful for your system, for your PC. So the resolution 4K, you can downscale it to 2K or even to 1920 by 1080. Right, when you still have that glitch problem, there is another thing that you can try to do is to change the encoding profile to main, try to change the rate control instead of variable bit rate, change it to constant bit rate. I always set the quality to 100,000 and I will leave this as it is and then you're gonna try it again. If you still don't succeed, go to keyframes and instead of automatic, you change it to every single frame. You want every single frame to render, then you're gonna try it again. If you don't succeed, there is one last thing that you can try to do. And most of the time, this works out just perfectly. You go to file and right up here, you see render speed and it will uh, automatically set to maximum, but you want to try and to set it to 50. And of course, the time to render the film will take way longer, but uh, your glitch is out of the film. And that is the most important thing. Play around with the settings right up here. You can try to set it to 25, 10, or maybe 75 is also good for you. In my case, it was 50, that worked out. Of course, it can happen that just nothing works and you still have this stupid glitch problem. Then there is one last thing that you can try. You go to your video cards and in my case, I use the NVIDIA GeForce uh, 3070. And then you go to your driver and right up here, you can choose from game driver to studio driver. And I had set it to studio driver. So I changed it to game driver, reset it, restart it and it finally worked out. If you figured out something that worked out that I didn't mention, please leave it in the comment and I'm gonna check you out in my next video. Bye bye.